and in comes the corner and it's headed down by Bergsland and tapped in by Turnand. Elizabeth Turnand is never going to miss from there. She can score in all sorts of ways and from anywhere and she gobbles up that tap in. A fine header down by Bergsvand and Elizabeth Turland on hand to reach double digits in the WSL this season. Bryson with another throw in deep into Bristol City territory. Low turn and cross comes in and it's off the post and bundled in at the second attempt by Bremer. Brighton have dealt Bristol City a double blow, two goals in the space of four minutes. Paulina Bremer did so well to get the first shot away and as it came back off the base of that post, she sprung forward and hit the rebound into the back of the net. Perfect distance to try and dink it over that wall and bring it back down. Connolly does that and she hits it with real venom into the back of the net. Megan Connolly. She drove that with such power just beneath the bar. Punched away just by Clark to defeat the Bremer and knocked back in, deflects off a City head into the danger zone and turn and smashes it home. Again, she is exactly the player you want that sort of opportunity to fall to. The minute it found itself at Elizabeth Turland's boot, you knew its next destination was the back of that Bristol City net. For the second time this season, she has scored twice against Bristol City and there is plenty of time for her to try and complete a hat-trick. Here's another chance for Turnant to try and get that first hat-trick in the WSL. A fine save. Perfect run from the Norway forward and you would have backed her to score. Oh, and from the corner, Tatiana Pinto has directed it into the back of the net. So Turnant missing the opportunity, but from the corner, Tatiana Pinto has given Brighton a 4-1 lead. Morgan goes deep towards the far post, it's headed into the back of the net! Brooke Aspen has given Bristol City renewed hope and then gone down with cramp in the process. Well, if City could get another here, Fionn Morgan, Morgan pulls it across the area and is swept into the back of the net. I mean, Testra, what a turnaround this is. Two goals for Bristol City in the space of 60 seconds of playing time. When the game finally got back underway after that injury to the initial goal scorer, Brooke Aspin, City just went straight down that end again. And Fia Morgan sets up Amelie Testrup for her ninth WSL goal of the season. Robinson with a lovely cross in towards Haley. And that is a really neat finish. Great work too from Robinson. And Madison Haley, the 25-year-old American, swept it home from close range. Robinson tries to take it beyond Connolly, and there was a challenge there. Is it a fair challenge? No, it's a penalty, says the referee. And Brighton are going to get the opportunity to go 6-3 up. Vicky Lasada now. Slots it home with the coolest of composure. 
Bristol City three, Brighton six. Brighton through again, Robinson with the seventh of the afternoon for Brighton. Katie Robinson against her former club. Well, what an end to the game she's had. Weighing in with an assist and then also getting Brighton's seventh goal of the afternoon.